What's going on guys? Back at it again this time. Well, before we get into it, hope you guys enjoyed that uh, new intro. That's, uh, I'm going I'm to start changing it up every thousand uh, subscribers. Uh, so, hope you guys enjoy that new intro. Um, just shows you a little bit of, of uh, what I do and uh, a little bit of the cars and you know. So, hope you guys enjoy that. Anyways, let's get into the video. Um, also, if you guys are not subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe, like, and share all my videos. I really appreciate you guys. Um, hope you guys enjoy the footage. And for those that are already subscribed, I really appreciate you guys for the support. All right. Enough of that. Enough of all the talking and stuff. So uh, what we're getting into this time, we are actually... Uh, uh, let's start off by this. I damaged the vet coming into my really steep freaking driveway so yeah that's very sad anyways i'm gonna have to get that repaired um and do and that happened because the front of the car is very low and uh in case you uh corvette owners don't know uh the corvettes have an adjustable suspension which has got that that bolt right there that you can actually screw in and out i don't know if you guys can see it that right there so down below it's got a little cushion let me go show you guys well the cushion on my uh car car's uh, bolt was gone it was it wasn't there anymore so here it is this is actually a front cushion and i installed that side already and uh what the instructions call out to do is to uh, remove the the forward uh lower control arm bolts drop them and then uh also you gotta uh disconnect the the shock let me show you guys so it calls out to remove that bolt right there okay for, for the lower a arm lower control arm this other bolt down here as well drop that and also um you gotta either disconnect your uh shock from the bottom or the top and uh, remove this uh, end link to the sway bar so in order to be able to drop your your arm and be able to have access to that but since mine was already removed i didn't really have to do that so what i did is uh just uh remove the bolts just enough to drop the arm the lower control arm and have access to kind of scrape it off i backed out the bolt as much as i could and i stuffed the little cushion in there and clipped it on so that was actually perfect so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Let me try it without removing the, the lower control arm uh, bolts and see how it goes. Um, because I personally think you don't have to. All right guys, another thing I wanna to talk to you guys about, where to actually set your, uh, <coughs> your jack stands, all right? So here, as you can see, I have it on, on the leaf spring itself. All right, that's the relief the tension that goes on the actual lower control arm all right so uh, bring it up with the jack there's a cross member right below right there and sit it there bring it up and then you put a set of jack stands one on this side one on the other side as close as you can uh, to the leaf spring closer to the to the uh, lower control arm and then drop the uh, jack and it'll sit on the jack stands on the leaf spring itself all right that'll relieve all the tension and you'll be able to do what you got to do so uh let's uh, get on with it see down there at the bottom down here that's where it is and i actually already cleaned it all off here's a piece that's the, the cushion that the original one see how it is so the other side didn't even have it Came out pretty easy. All I used was a screwdriver. You didn't even have to remove the bolts off the lower control arm. And it worked out pretty good. See, it's all cleaned up. Um, I did back out the bolt all the way. Um, I sprayed it with a WD-40 just so it wouldn't get stuck on me. And uh, worked out pretty good. Um, so I did that, backed it all the way out. And um, I, I'm, I didn't even take measurement of this, of how I want it, just because I'm, I'm still messing with my suspension, and I don't know um, 
uh, where exactly I'm going to have to have it at in order to, to clear every time I go up my driveway. So I don't want to mess up my fenders anymore. This side was fine, so because um, it still has some cushion, but the other side, I couldn't I couldn't bring it up because there was no cushion left. It, it was just hidden against the the bare metal. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring the new cushion, throw it in there, and show you guys how how to actually install it. It's pretty simple. Just clips on there. Here's the new cushion. These are for the rears. So eventually, I'll do my rears as well. And it's the same process. And I figure the rears are probably gonna be a lot easier. All right, here's the new one. Um, I'll post the, uh, here's the part numbers. Uh, I'll post the part number in the description just so you guys can actually um, know where to get it from. I did, I grabbed it from Zip Corvette. They have the best prices. CS front and rear lowering cushions for your stock bolts, or you can replace the bolts. They sell the full assembly, but for this, I think I just paid 25 bucks, so it's not bad. Thanks for a sip for that. Let's go ahead and install this cushion. So this is the front one. And what I did, I just put it in there. Okay. Just put it in there. Kind of line it up. And lower your bolt. So by you lowering the bolt, once it gets close enough, down there, it'll just click in place. See, and it makes it so much easier because you have WD-40 on it. There you go, you see it's spinning? Let me click it, lock it in place. Kind of guide it in there. <clears throat> it's hard. I'm doing it with one hand. <laughs> so the way I did it, I just tightened it up and pressed right in. All right, there it goes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna bring it down, barely touch the A-arm and leave it at that. It just goes down much easier. So that's that. I'll take the measurement out of this and go leave the other side approximately the same. Right there. Yeah. I don't want it too high either, so we'll see what that looks like right there. Okay, take the measurement off of that and do the other side. They're about the same. All right. But here's a good way of actually measuring. Let me put the light over here. Of actually measuring your bolt, how much it comes out. See, what do I do? I'll, I'll set it here, top of the head. Just like that. And just measure that and see what it is. And then I'll go measure the other side and make sure it's the same. So right there is like uh, 10, 11, 12, 13 mils. So I'll do the same thing for the other side. And here it is. So yeah, we're approximately the same. This one's actually coming up, sticking up a bit more. So I might do a half a turn on it. All right, so now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and uh, throw the tires on. All right, guys, in case y'all didn't know, no, I haven't posted anything on these, but I um, finally got the the wheel tire set up I wanted, and um, I got rid of my four stars, and I'm going to stick to these. These are actually going to be uh, my wheels that I'm going to be running all the time. So, All right, so my current wheel setup is this Weld Forged S71, 18 by 5, which does not weigh anything. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the width of this. So, yeah. It's an 18 inch uh, size. These are Mickey Thompson's. Uh, MT's. Alright, here's the size. 26, 6, 18. So that's actually what I'm running. It's a radial. And uh, these things do not weigh anything. Super skinny. 
All right, so let me get this one mounted. And, uh, and then on the rears, I'm actually running uh, 17 by 11s. And uh, I, I actually have a spacer because I have a wide body. So I have a one and a half inch spacer and these are actually fit the Z06s and the Grand Sports ZR1s. So these are actually 1711s with the one and a half inch spacer that I'm running. And I've, uh, it's been good. I haven't had any, any issues with it. These are the Race, Mas Race Masters m and uh, 325-45s, 17. So that's what I'm running in the rear. All right, so there it is. That's a new uh, wheel setup. Let me know what, what you guys think. It actually did come up a little bit. I might pick it up a little more. It clears uh, probably about half an inch so from the fender. But we'll see how, how it works out like this way. Um, until then, I'll, I'll, leave it, I'll leave it as it is. Let me know what you guys think. The 18.5s up front, 1711 in the rear.